this problem has statement 1 and statement 2 of the four choices given after this statement choose the one that best describes the two statements so let us first go through the statements and then we will see the options one by one sky waves signals are used for long distance radio communication okay so this statement is correct this is a very knowledge based point these signals are in general less stable than the ground wave signals okay because of atmospheric disturbances the signals they are not very stable there are chances of data loss in statement 2 the state of ionosphere varies from hour to hour day to day and season to season now this statement is also correct and statement 1 is also correct but statement 2 is not giving the correct explanation to the statement 1 okay so if you look at the options you look at option B statement 1 is true statement 2 is also true but statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1 so this option is correct now let us look at the third problem three perfect gases at absolute temperature T1, T2 and T3 are mixed. The masses of molecules are M1, M2 and M3 and the number of molecules are N1, N2 and N3 respectively. Assuming no loss of energy, the final temperature of the mixture is. Now in this problem, we have to assume that the atomicity atomicity of all the three gases is same and its degrees of freedom is F in all the cases it is same so F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F3 and let us say that is equal to F so when they are combined then the atomicity of the mixture of the gases will also be F okay now if we calculate the total energy associated with gases initially that will be given by F by 2 times number of molecules into K into T1. Now this is the energy possessed by N1 molecules of the gas, gas 1. Similarly F by 2 times N2 K T2 and the third one is again F by 2 N3 K T3 now this total energy will become the total energy of the mixture of gases so that will be F by 2 N1 plus N2 plus N3 so this is the total number of molecules of the mixture and that will be given by Kt the temperature at which the mixture has come to equilibrium so from this we can calculate this F by 2, F by 2, F by 2 will cancel out and we will get and this K will also cancel out so we will get T as equal to N1 T1 plus N2 T2 plus N3 T3 divided by N1 plus N2 plus N3 okay so this is the new temperature 